Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install these updates that is KB5067036 or KB5067931 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to retry. So when the update fails, if you see the retry option, hit retry and then check if that does not work, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can try to install the update and then check. Still not working, pause and restart the update. Now for this, you can go to Windows update and then over here, you can see pause update option, hit pause over here. This may take some time. Now once paused, you, you can resume the updates. So resume the updates and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to start these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. Now find Windows update, scroll down here you can see Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click on Windows update, then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic. Apply, click on start. Then make a right click on background intelligent and then click on restart. Now once done, now you can try to install the update and then check. If you see retry option, you can hit retry and then check. Now the next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It, this will run a scan and once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete over here, then copy the third command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can try to install the update. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update. That is KB5067036 over here. And then click on search. And let me change the language over here. Now over here you have to type in in the search box Winver, W-I-N-V-E-R, Winver, and then click on Winver run command. Check the version. It's In my case, it's version 2.5 H2. And then check the system types. For this, you can go to uh, window, system type, go to system, and then scroll down, and then go to storage, uh, sorry, about option. And over here you can see the system type. System type is 64-bit in my case. Now, for me, it's Windows 11 version 2.5 H2 X64 base system. This is the right one for me. If you have Windows 11 version 2.4 H2 X64, then this is the right one for you. So download as per your system. And then on this page, you will see the update KB5067036. Click on it and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file follow the on-screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. Now for this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update and then go to Advanced option over here and then scroll down, go to Recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, now restart your computer and then try to update. Still not working. 
the next step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser the link is provided in the video description scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run the exe file now once you run this exe file uh, you have to click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next and then you can save it to desktop click on save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once it is done click on finish option and then let this close automatically once this is closed automatically you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file then make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next and then click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so hit install after the installation you can log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel